You're watching the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey, an unhappy camper tonight as the Dallas Cowboys have announced that they will not be making a head coaching change this offseason. Mike McCarthy will stay as the Dallas Cowboys head coach. They won the NFC's title. They had the two seed. You were like, ah, oh, man, if you're going to make the run, this is such a good chance to do it. And you got embarrassed against the Green Bay Packers. They laid a colossal egg. Everything went wrong. They didn't play well on offense, defense, special teams. I, I had said going into the week, I'm, I don't want to do the whole head coaching church stuff change. They're not considering it. If they get blown out, we can revisit that whole conversation. Well, they got it blown out and embarrassed. And the end result was, now nah, we're just going to roll with it. We think we're close. We are doing this part of our live show. Uh, we went live for this news because we were prepped and prepared for it. When news happens, we have you guys covered. Hit that sub button for more free Cowboys videos right here on the channel, youtube.com slash at Cowboys TV. So McCarthy's career so far in Dallas had the bad 2020 campaign. You, you lost all your guys to injuries. And since then, three years with 12 straight wins. And make no mistake, that's really impressive. There has been no coach, as far as I can tell, who has been fired after three straight 12-win seasons. In a bubble, you'd kind of be insane to fire Mike McCarthy. He has the best winning percentage, as Jerry Jones has said in his quote, we'll get to it uh, later on in today's show, in Cowboys history. But I don't really care about that. I don't really care about how good you are in, in November, in December. I care about what you can do in January. And for the past, all of these years on screen, you haven't been good enough in January. And you keep not making the type of major change you need. You haven't done a real coaching search since Wade Phillips. It has been 18 years since you did a real coaching search. And now it's going to be 19 at minimum. And, it's, and my issue with Mike is, it wasn't just the offense wasn't just the quarterback. Wasn't just the receiving core, your bad offensive line, the, the back of the, the, the bad backfield that couldn't that can't run the ball consistently, the defense being unable to cover, blowing coverage left right, the run defense being poor as hell. It was all of it. And when it's all of it in the biggest game of the year, I believe that that is a coaching issue. Here's what Jerry Jones' statement said. Now I, <laughs> a lot of issues with, with this. It's like, it's like Festivus all over again. I believe this team is very close and capable of achieving our ultimate goals and the best step forward for us with Mike McCarthy as our head coach. You're not close, by the way. So there are many layers of success that have occurred this season as a result of Mike's approach to leading the team, both with individual players and with our team collectively. Mike has the highest regular season winning percentage of any head coach in Cowboys history, and we'll dedicate ourselves in partnership with him to translating that into reaching our postseason goals. Certainly, Mike's career has demonstrated postseason success at a high level, and we have great confidence that can continue, which it hasn't happened to Dallas. Further, our loss on Sunday is shared by everyone here, not just Coach McCarthy, our front office, myself. There is accountability for our results. No, there's not. The lens we use to view and evaluate Coach McCarthy is holistic. While we're disappointed with our playoff record, I am 100% supportive of him as our head coach and ability to reach our goals. We will start our process of review and decision-making regarding everything that impacts our team and roster. And while we're not going to address specific players and extensions for free agents at this point, it deserves our deepest review and consideration, and it will get it. One note, by the way, if Jerry believed that, he'd extend Mike. If he has 100% belief, he'd extend him. He's not going to, because why the hell would he? Are the Cowboys right to keep Mike McCarthy? Why for yes and for no Go ahead and sound off for me in the comment section at the pinned comment of today's video right now. Look, you've had great regular season success and constant playoff pain. And I just can't keep doing this. I'm tired of this. I am tired of being something different every single year, no matter who the head coach is, who the quarterback is. Like, we can be honest here. I think you could put out an offense that features Justin Jefferson, Patrick Mahomes, CeeDee Lamb, Tyreek Hill, 
a top five offensive line, Derrick Henry, Christian McCaffrey, I think you were losing that game because your game plan was terrible and your defense never showed up. I can't get on board with this move. I have no faith right now in Mike McCarthy. How, how, how can you? If, if you disagree with me, please tell me. Because I, 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 I can't get on board here. I, have, I fear the Cowboys have reached their ceiling. And that's not even just you know, unique to Mike. There's plenty of, of different elements of this team I feel that way about. And to be fair, the odds of things getting worse before they got better if you fired Mike are frankly pretty high. I think you're, you are, you, you're a win team three years in a row. It's hard. It's almost impossible to do that. It's also almost impossible to constantly lose this many playoff games. But I don't believe that running it back is going to work. I really hope I'm wrong. Make no mistake. I really hope I am. But I, I have seen this McCarthy team. I saw it with Garrett, too. When things get important, when it's a playoff game or a game against a better team or a tricky road game environment, they coach scared. Like, they go into, ooh, don't make mistakes mode, which guess what happens? when you're, They're coaching not to lose, and you end up losing. I don't know how that's going to change. Because you, you still need change. How are you going to get change if the same guy is still in charge? It goes for the owner, by the way, as well. Now, today's show is made possible by Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS. For a first deposit match up to $100. Link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. Uh, I think next year I'm just going to take the less than on every single uh, Cowboys playoff one. Because they're, they're going to go one and done again. They'll make it. They're going to go one and done again. Here are my prize picks for the Niners Packers, by the way. Give me more than Brock Purdy passing yards. He might cook them. That Packers defense is not that good. The offense finally realized that in, when it was too late. George Kittle, more than receiving yards, because Jake Ferguson actually showed up pretty well. Aaron Jones, less than rushing yards against their good Niners defense. Again, it's prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Links in the comments and the description of today's show. I just, I, I wish it were as simple even. Like, even if you fire Mike, like, or fired Mike, I wish it was as simple as one solution to, to, you know, to fixing this team. I wish it was, oh, if you fire the head coach, guaranteed success. Dump the quarterback, guaranteed success. It's been this way for damn near 30 years now, basically my entire life. And it's always the same thing. This, that, this game against the Packers reminded me so much of the Vikings divisional round playoff loss. You had all these all pros, all these pro bowlers, and you got ran over. And it wasn't even close. That game actually ended up being even less close than the one you played because of, you know, you got going in garbage time. I, I, I wish it were as simple as I'm going to do this thing and it's all going to be fixed. You, you, and, and you need real change to get that. You can't just keep tweaking things. You can't keep doing, you know, three, whatever, three card monty, whatever it is. And you got, oh, the ball's under the cup. And you move the cup like just in circles over and over again. But the ball is in the center cup. It doesn't move. It just, or you're playing 21, and you forgot to put all of the, the, the face cards in. And you keep hoping to get 21, and you're baking on a 10, and there's no ace in the deck. That doesn't make any sense. You have to have real change at some point. And the path this Cowboys team is on is right down the middle. It's not going to be the aggressive change you need to win right now. It's not going to be the rebuild to set you up for, for winning uh, in, in the future. It's just going to be more of the same. And you'll win 9 to 10 games. You'll blow out a bunch of bad teams. We'll enjoy it in the moment. You'll lay an egg against some terrible team because you just constantly do it every single year. You'll go 2 and 4 against the playoff teams you face in the, uh, in the regular season. And then you'll lose in the first round of the postseason again. What's going to happen? And like, that's not the worst spot to be. But if you're never going to get to where we need to be, what's the point? What's the point at that stage? So, and I, by the way, to be clear, I hope I am wrong. 
I would love nothing more than for someone to equip the entire show and at freezing cold takes. It would, I'll do it myself. Hope, hope that is the case. I have no faith right now. What's your one word reaction to keeping Mike McCarthy? One word, one word only. Sound off for me in the comment section with what that, I think you have to do PC language, but what that one word is. You know, my one word is static. It's not change. Your head coach loves static offenses, by the way. You can go back and watch. I did, and I hate myself for it. They went right back into the, uh, we're, we're, we're going to run the ball on second and 10. You threw second, you, your second, second down pass came uh, with under a minute to go in, in, the, in the half. How? You stopped the motion. I, I gave Mike so much credit midseason for changing his offense. And be like, this is not working. Let's do all the, let's steal from the Shanahan tree. And they didn't do it again. I, so, so what are you going to do? Like, you're, you're, you're not making the change this year. You'll probably average 30 points a game again on offense or close to it. You'll be a top four offense. I got bigger worries about your defense here, but by the way. But you got to start making decisions here. Th this is not a decision. This is kicking the can down the road. That's all this is. This is going, all right, let's just see what happens. It's the definition of insanity all, all over again. And now you got bigger questions. Well, I guess bigger because now the, the big one is decided. What are you going to do with Dak? You can't have him on a $60 million cap hit. You cannot do it. You can't win that way. Even with You, you could put prime Brady, Mahomes, Manning combined into some super Saiyan quarterback, and you can't win that way. Team's not good enough. So are you going to extend him? It's the best path to winning now. You guys aren't going to like that, and I get it. You're going to just restructure him because you're delaying the inevitable. Your, your best path, I thought, was to fire Mike, go get a new coach, go do the Shanahan stuff on offense that clearly works really well, and overhaul the defense and go be aggressive for four years. If it doesn't work, actually rebuild. This is the same thing you keep doing of being, well, next year will be different. What are you going to do with defensive coordinator? by the way. I mean, we've had so many super saying, go get a new DC. I get it. I agree. Who wants to join this situation? Who wants to join a lame duck head coach? You're not going to extend, Mike. I'd be blown away if they did. You can at least make a better pitch for a DC if you did, I guess, but not a good idea. Like, none of this makes sense. Like, what defensive coordinator is going to want to come join Mike McCarthy who will be on the hottest seat in America. No job is going to be under more scrutiny than this job in Dallas. Every week it's going to be, Fire Mike was kind of that this year already. It's going to be even worse now. It might be a hotter seat than the president is where we're going to be at. Who wants that job? Nobody. Nobody wants that job. What is your confidence level right now? in the Cowboys, having success as we move forward. At least, let's just say short term. Because, you know, 10 years from now is fa fairy tale times. It could be anything. It could be a boat. 1 to 10 is your scale. Go vote in the comments. The real issue, one that I can't fix, is ownership. If you've got two constants on this team in your 26, whatever, seven-year-long drought it is. Your owner, also rowdy. Who I hate with a passion. He's a plague. But I digress. I can't get ownership to change itself. And what the problem is, is ownership did change itself. Jerry the gambler, Jerry the splash guy, Jerry the, the constant media narrative of Jerry loves to make a splash. When was the last time he did that? Has it made a real free agency signing since Brandon Carr? And that was like a decade ago. And they thought it was so bad they were scared of it. You know, they, they all going to make spots in the draft. No, you don't. You might sit there and get lucky with Lamb and just be smart. They interviewed two people when they hired Mike. Two people. Come on. That's just dumb. I, I would, I would you, you give me t 10 years. You give me 10 years, I guarantee I could win a championship for the Dallas Cowboys. If I didn't, I'd sell, I'd sell the team. But there's, it's not going to happen.
And the, the root cause of all your issues, all the way up, it's how leadership works. The leadership's bad. If the owner ain't tripping, we don't care. Owner's still not tripping all these years later.